it means to her. And just to um, give you a little teeny bit of background is the part we didn't discuss that she's going to discuss is about the, the part of the story where the plagues come upon the Egyptians and how she feels about each of the, the different characters in the story. She's going to read it really, really slowly. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. The Torah portion this week lists the last four plagues that Pharaoh and the Egyptians had to go through in order to get the Jews freed from Egypt. There have been times this year when I really felt what it might have been like to be each of the characters in this story. First, I felt like the Egyptians, who had to go through a lot of suffering from each of the plagues. In late spring, I had surgery on my spine to try to correct a curvature that was getting progressively worse. For me, the time healing from the surgery, there felt like there were a lot of plagues. The plagues were pain in my back, not being able to get up or move, not being able to skate, do any sports for three months, and I couldn't do a lot when I went to camp. That had really sucked. <laughs> but I also felt like Pharaoh. For Pharaoh, the plague was like death. He said, remove this death from me after the plague of the locust. And even though when we think of locusts, we might not think of death right away. To him, the two went together. For Pharaoh, the locust plague felt like death. I really didn't want death surgery. And there were times when it really was a life or death situation. One wrong move by the surgeon and I could have died because it was in my spine. The surgery, to me, took my scoliosis, something that I thought wouldn't harm me, to eventually turning it into something where I wanted to place it into a life or death category. Most of the time, though, I felt like the Jews. I can imagine that the Jews were used to slavery after 400 years. It was what they knew. In some ways, scoliosis was what I knew. I wanted to imagine that there could be a future where it wouldn't be part of my life or something I didn't have to worry about getting worse over the years. I thought that the Jews would imagine what it would be like if they were free. But in order to get free, both the Jews and I needed a miracle to rescue us. The plague set the Jews free, and surgery invented in the last 10 years had halted my scoliosis. We were lucky that we had great leaders. The Jews had Moses and Aaron to guide them and support them. I had my parents. Moses and Aaron were trying to get the Jews free from slavery. This is kind of like when my parents wanted to help me to be free from pain and out of the hospital. They also wanted to ensure that it wouldn't work in it. They had to have hope, support, and be strong on my behalf. And the surgeons and doctors helped me to grow healthier. They had to decide to take action to ensure a better future for me. There are two more characters I got to be, not just with my surgery. For once, I got to be Moses and Aaron. For my bat mitzvah project, I got to help out at Tales for Hope. I got to play with puppies and dogs who needed the attention. I got to play with the kittens and cats who never got any attention or playtime. I was basically able to help those pets who have been abandoned or were strayed or were simply not cared for at all. I got to help these animals and make their days better and make them each feel cared for and special. I think it's possible to learn from the story that when you're faced with something really hard and potentially scary, it's important to take a risk and try to make things better in the long term because you never know. There might be something truly wonderful like freedom from slavery or freedom from pain, or freedom from the fear of scoliosis getting worse on the other side.